we believe there is a very real opportunity for Indiana to accelerate its attractiveness to new life science investments and employment by differentiating based on building a sustainable pipeline of skilled workers, both for frontline operations and for scientific and technical roles. I'd find a way to increase the talent pool exponentially here uh, in Indiana because this is a place where we would like to do even more uh, catalan work beyond Bloomington. Do you feel confident that our state of Indiana can indeed become the state in these United States as the capital of biopharma manufacturing? I'm, I'm looking at the state from a macro perspective and how can the state compete with other states to outcompete um, in 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 create Indiana as a destination that you can do better and grow faster and be more innovative because you're located in Indiana. How can we work together even more alongside IEDC and the governor's team alongside the private sector? What would be your messages for the strategies and actions of our universities. There's a relationship that's like 80% uh, likelihood they stay in the state if they have a good internship their sophomore or junior year, right? And so we need to partner together to keep all these smart kids in this state working for these great companies that are represented in this room. We're ranked in the top 20 in terms of funding of our research. Um, from directly from industry in the country. We are driving private-public partnerships where we can bring together hand-in-hand -hand university researchers, students, um, and professionals from, from small to large companies. I believe that these are areas where we can partner, we can partner together with the state in order to make that advance. Think about the great societal needs and how do we bring uh, universities together with industry um, in order to accomplish those overarching objectives.